Obama is an asshole and his wife is a commie racist bitch. I can't believe I'm sitting there um, catching the news and I'm hearing about this man, his, his uh, uh, economic uh, proposals. I mean, he wants to destroy capitalism in America, folks. It's like, this motherfucker despises wealth. The wealth of anyone else. Not his own wealth, okay? He made over, what, over $5 million on his lying ass books. Dreams of his father. I'll tell you what the dreams of his father was. That was to, to, to um, socialize um, Kenya. He wanted to make sure that nobody had any individual ownerships of anything. Everything was to be a collective thing. And this is what the same fucking ideology that Barack has. I, I wrote about this. I, I did a whole thing about this in my book about his father and, and, and his grandfather and the, and the things that happened with the Brits. But I tell you what, Obama is one warped psychopath. I mean, we've gone beyond narcissistic and delusions of grandeur and, and, and all these other kinds. This man is a real sociopath. He's a psychopathic sociopath, if there's such a damn thing, okay? I mean, this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to level our economy. He's trying to, he's trying to um, destroy wealth in our, in our country. I mean, like, what is really wealth these days? $250,000 is really not a lot of money. Not today it's not. And... You, you want to tax the ones who are going to give us jobs. You're going to tax the people that, 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 give, that, that, that gives influx into the economy. These are the people that he wants to fuck up. Because if he, if he can get rid of these people, then he's just going to squash the rest of us like gnats. This is the reason why we cannot let the Dems co um, maintain control of anything. We cannot. I don't give a damn whether you hate Republicans. We have to vote for Republicans. We got to get them in there. I mean, this man is trying to do everything that he can to destroy an independent spirit. Uh, 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 to destroy goals. To destroy dreams and aspirations. You got. He wants to protect those people that don't want to do for the damn selves. People that just want to lay like paralytic fucking monsters and, 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 and fucking spiders on the side of the road and, and, and just ask for government handouts. That's all. And these are the people that he loves because these are the fucking ass wipes that are keeping his ass uh, uh, with, with these high approval ratings. It's the goddamn progressives and the liberals, you fucking pieces of dog shit. I hate all of you. You know, here, these, these elites has got all the money in the world. Because we're so stupid, we continue to support them and go to their concerts and go to their games and, and buy their CDs and their videos, and they are not supporting the Americans who support them. These liberal motherfuckers that get on MSNBC and the stupid ass Ed show and, and that retarded bitch um, Rachel Maddow and, and that constipated fucker Chris Matthews and, and that piece of shit ostrich looking Keith Oberman. He, they, they, he, they go on the shows and they talk about um, 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 uh, the conservatives, the conservative people, the people who buy their stuff. They're, they're denigrating us, the conservative people, the patriots that go to their games. They, 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 they patronize their concerts. These are the people that, these, they, that the celebrities are talking about us, but yet we continue to back them. And I don't understand this mindset. That they, this, they, the, the celebrities hate capitalism. They hate conservatives, but it's capitalism that, that, that has made them rich where they can go buy fucking islands and, and jetliners and, and, and have a new t-shirt that they can tear out of a pack every day and new drawers every day that they don't have to worry about ever washing. <laughs> and yet we still support them. We can't wait to, to log on to see what Lady Gaga's doing. And this fucking demonic possessed bitch had the nerve to talk against Arizona. But yet we want to log on and keep her, keep her shit up there. Keep, keep her getting more riches. I mean, I just don't understand this man. He doesn't talk about, he doesn't talk about any of the celebrities, any of the athletes, how much money they make. It's just the businessmen that he want to go after. You see, he's leaving Hollywood alone because Hollywood backed him. He just want to go after the corporate people. Better wake up, people. We better wake up. No matter what he says, trust me, it's only for now. He's saying what the hell that he has to say right now so that he can try to guard up more, guard, get more votes um, uh, for, the, for the Democrats in, in, in November. And then after that's done, just like he did with, with the um, health care shit, he gave that executive order that there was going to be no federal uh, money used for abortions. And guess what? The states that are, that are using federal money for abortions. So we already know that his word cannot be uh, taken as, as, it's not bond. His word is not bond. That's for damn sure. So he's doing, in, in, Muslim, in the Muslim world, they got this thing that they call takia. 
All right, and that's when you agree with your enemy and you tell them what the hell they want to hear right then and then so that you can get your way. But in your heart, you still plan to do it exactly what the hell that you want to do, your goals, your aspirations, whatever it is that you want to do, you're going to do it. But you'll tell your enemy, yes, you're right. You're totally right. Yeah, you know what? I messed up. I'll get it right. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll do this and do this and do that. Even um, Gaddafi, he said that Obama says things. They call it, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Elections propaganda. That you say whatever you need to say to get people to vote for you. And then after you get in your office you, and people say, but you said this and you said that. They say, yeah, but this is just election, elections propaganda. And that's exactly what the hell happened with Barack, with Obama. And that's exactly what he's doing now. He's telling you whatever you need to hear so that you forgive him and, and say, okay, well, we'll give this guy another chance and we'll vote for him. Don't fall for the bullshit, okay? He's doing whatever the hell he has to do right now to get your votes. And once he gets your votes and once the Democrats stay in, 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 in power, he's going to fuck us up. So I'm telling you right now, don't fall for the okie doke. Don't believe the hype. Don't trust him. He or his word, his wife's word. She's another lying communistic socialist bitch who who insti instituted a socialized medicine when she was working over there in the University of Chicago Medical Center. She was the vice president who who uh, they, I think they call it cherry picking, cherry picking patients. Where this little boy came to our hospital who had his face bitten off by a pit bull and they, her, her rules says that they just gave him a tetanus shot, gave him some fucking aspirin and sent him to the community hospital to get surgery. Instead of letting it be done right there because they're trying to save those, um, those, uh, the, the surgeries and, and procedures for the rich people. And if you don't believe me, go look it up. All of this shit is in my book. So please, patriots, Americans, don't fall for it. Let's vote for the Republicans. Get the Democrats out of office. Let's, let, let, let's fucking bind his hands so that he can't go and legislate and do what the hell he wants to with that little retarded left hand and his third grade signature. Let's bind Barack. Let, 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 yo, we got to bind him in Jesus' name. And, 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 and all the demons and everybody else that's out there that's trying to uh, uh, um, facilitate this socialist agenda. It has to stop. And it stops at us in November. All right? We got to do it. God bless. Peace.